Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am your wonderful host, Fontoman, and welcome back to War Thunder. Well, I figured since I've got a couple of hours today before I have to do some other things, I might as well get started with this. And what is this? This is going to be yet another grind fest on the side here for the PB4Y2 Privateer, which is essentially a Liberator with a redesigned tail and an extra 50 cal on the top. And these very nice futuristic dorsal, or I'm sorry, not dorsal turrets, blister turrets. That's what they're called, right. It's a very, very nice looking plane. Very, very, you know, just, just, just a, a nice, enjoyable, aesthetic bomber. And more, uh, you know, more ammunition for me to use Beach Boy references while flying a Navy plane. Aside from the extra dorsal turret, there really isn't anything shockingly amazing about this plane. It is essentially a ground-hugging four-engine bomber, which is an oddity. However, mostly how, well, for a long time, mostly how people flew four-engine bombers in War Thunder anyway. So, basically, the idea is to stay low on the surface of the water and shoot around and up at anything that comes near you. But... Aside from that, there really isn't anything really shockingly amazing about this plane in terms of armament. You've got your standard fuckload of bombs, as for as you know, par for the course for any uh, four-engine American long-range bomber. But really, there's nothing amazing out here that stands out from the B-17s. That's a little bit disappointing. However, when I did research on this plane, the uh, like when it was being murmured back, murmured about. About a year ago, there was a field modification where somebody actually strapped Havar rockets to the front of it. It's kind of disappointing not to actually have that kind of option. But, oh well. But this is going to be our objective for our, uh, this grind fest. And, uh, well, we're going to be playing ground attack aircraft. Because that's my jam. That's how I play War Thunder. If you came here to see me, play, you know, play fighter aircraft, you came to the wrong Let's Play channel. People may knock me for call. People may knock me and call me a lawnmower, but you know what? Fuck you. I get the job done. You want to see my credentials? What? Wait, wait. Wrong thing. Right, other side. Right. I haven't played the game in a while. But sorry about that. You want? But you want to see my credentials for why the hell a ground attack works? There are my credentials. Good enough. All right. Let's get started. Okay, so, I think we're going to run around with these planes that I have selected here since, well, honestly, the American tree is very big and wide, but we have sort of a limitation here on the tank, on the, not the tanks, but the planes that we can play. War Thunder's uh, XP system is, well, actually rather nice in the fact that you can play basic, basically whatever the hell you want in order to get whatever the hell you want, which is why I have like 70% of the fighters on every fucking tree. Like, for example, just as a thing, um... I played mostly the duck, the, the premium duck, and I have basically the entire German tree unlocked. Just from that. I didn't, I don't play, remember, I don't play fighter aircraft all that much. So all the 109s, all the Focke-Wulf 190s, all this shit, I don't actually play them. I've been playing this game for years, essentially just gathering planes as trophies. Because I got mostly all the planes that I wanted, even though now, since there have been a couple of updates, well, actually more than a few updates since I, you know, actually stopped playing for a long, for a long time, they've added planes in between and I don't have them. But in large part, I, I, I have a couple of very comfy vehicles that I run around in, and this is the, the this is, these are the main reasons why I have all of the planes that I have. Same thing with the British tree as well. The Japanese is my one shortcoming since I never really played them because guess what? They don't have any fucking ground attack aircraft. People are all like, Oh my god, you haven't specced into the Japanese tree at all. Do you hate fun? No, I just don't like playing climb wars and realistic battles. Sorry. If they were to add an actually competent ground attack plane for Japan, then I'd play them. But unfortunately, really? There fucking aren't any. I mean, their bombers are really good, but those are the the, 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 the GH just overpowered for what it is, because it's covered in 20mm cannons. Rather, it's not necessarily probably overpowered now, but it's still a really scary fucking thing to get near. But, well, this is how I got to where I am right now. I'm a ground attack pilot. I'm a lawnmower. So, what does a lawnmower do? Well, 
We risk our ass to get the job fucking done, even though our job, in the grand scheme of things, is mostly redundant because every game devolves into fight or death match. But, we go the extra mile. Hey! What are you doing? Timed out what? I'm still fucking here. Goddamn War Thunder servers. I'm, see, I'm, I'm trying to have a dramatic speech here. But what I'm saying, what's a ground attack pilot? Ground attack pilots are a special breed of people. We know, or we should know, that the game is, in fact, fight or death match. All day, every day. But there are these, all these nice little ground targets on, on, you know, laying around on the map. They're worth, worth a lot of points. And, unfortunately, in order to get most of those points, you have to fly something that is not a fighter, and therefore, a death trap. So, well, like I said, we risk our asses to get the job done. We fly in things that are on meta, and we blow shit up. And if we're lucky, we take a couple of fighter pilots with us. See? That's the shit I live for. That's why I fly the fucking duck. It's unmeta, but if you fuck with people, you still win. And that? Well, that's the greatest joy in video gaming that I've found. But enough of my rambling and romanticism. Let's actually get to fucking work. We got a long grind ahead of us. And I don't have a lot of time today. So, let's begin. We're going to fly the Invader first, and this is the Premium Invader, one of the other special snowflake aircraft that I have. If I remember correctly, someone from the World of Tanks, uh, not World of Tanks, War Thunder General on VG is responsible for getting me this, though I can't remember exactly who it was. I think I know, but I might be mistaken, so I'm not actually going to say the wrong name. But you know who you are. So... Let's get in with this, even though the Invader is not exactly the most amazing ground attack plane in the history of everything. And honestly, uh, the American tree kind of comes up short in terms of ground attack aircraft, in terms of, like, like staying power. There are a lot of things that can carry ordnance, but there are only a very... There's really a, a very few aircraft that can maintain their effectiveness and stay the fuck alive in the middle of a sortie. The A-20 is one of those planes. The Invader? The Invader, uh, the major problem in here with the Invader in terms of ground attack is that it does have forward-facing 50 cals that the pirate ca pilot can fire. However, they're so far apart on the fucking wings that the convergence is a mess and you can't really use them reliably. But it's fast, and it carries two 2,000-pound bombs. This is what I learned playing the Tu-2 for hours and hours and hours. If you're not covered in fucking machine guns and you can't instantly give everything that comes in front of you, you get in fast, and you get the fuck out fast. That's how you stay alive. So, let's see what we can manage here. Keep in mind, I'm a bit rusty, so I may fuck this up. And honestly, I probably will fuck this up. But also, hang on here. Right, boosters. We have these. I don't think I have any- Oh, I do have a 50% premium booster. Good. Right. Gives you 50% for all battle actions and missions war. These just kind of pile up in the, the background. See, I even have a gold booster here, which I'm not even going to try because fuck that dice roll machine. But, okay. So, we have that. Let us begin. Okay, good. Right into a game. Except it's fucking Norway, so we're going to have a shit time. Uh, okay, for those of you who don't play... Um, War Thunder. Let me explain Norway. Norway is a shit map. Do you know why Norway is a shit map? Because it is purposely designed to fuck over ground attack pilots. It is essentially the one map they put in the rotation to make sure that ground attack pilots do not have an easy time and they, eventually, they occasionally get a map that is absolutely atrocious for what they're trying to do. So, let's see here. What have we got here? Universal or ground attack? Honestly, I also... One of the things they keep doing is fucking with the belts. Um, sometimes... The last time I played armor-piercing incendiary was the ground attack belt. Now it looks like the armor-piercing... Just regular armor-piercing is the ground attack belt. So, honestly, half the fucking time, I have no idea what the hell's going on with these belts. So, I have to kind of relearn the game every time I come in here. And also, in the last update, or rather... It, one of the updates before the Italian update, they removed bomb sites from realistic battle. So I actually have to use my actual bombardier scope. And also, I have to open my bomb bay before I actually get to drop the bombs, before it did it automatically. But you see now, they removed the automatic systems that were, you know, very nice for a ground attack pilot for getting in, getting out fast. And now they're making me, now they're making my job more anarchistic and more difficult, so that the fighter pilots have even more fucking time to kill me. B-52 
because they needed fucking help as they sat there whining when they actually sat behind me and maybe one, well, actually maybe, maybe about four out of ten times my guns would actually work and kill them. And then they would get upset and call bombers overpowered. Because we, be, Jesus fucking Christ. I hate fighter pilots. They're fucking so just, just a bunch of fucking over pampered whiny babies. With their fucking air superiority fighters with their one hit fucking cannons. Swear to fucking God. Anytime a bomber wins, all the fighter pilots complain. Because, oh my God, I didn't get to, I, I didn't get to fight or I stood behind a fucking, a, Plane with like, I don't know, eight different fucking defense guns shooting at me. Oh no! I didn't instantly win! The game is broken! No, it's not, you're just a moron. But anyway, enough of my fucking complaining. You see, I've got a lot of salt here. I've been playing here for a long, long fucking time. I've seen a lot of things. But our major goal here. Because it's Norway, there's only really one thing that we can do here, is watch those guys and make sure they don't come fucking near us. Watch these guys, because the, the Strato Fortresses, or I'm sorry, Super Fortresses, right, that's a B-52, right. The Super Fortresses up there are going to be heading towards the same bombing targets that, we, or that we're going to, but we're an invader, we go fast. We're going to get there before them and actually scarf up all the ground targets. But up, oh, here come the fucking fighters. At least they're gonna stay high, it looks like, and go after the fucking Super Fortresses. Good luck, Super Fortress! Me? What am I doing? I go low and fast. You know why? Because I stay alive a little longer when that happens. The only problem is, they probably all fucking see me. Actually, no, nope, they're going right after the B-29s. Good. So, we're gonna have a moment here before these four, five Germans turn around and actually see the black planted invader. And what we're going to do is we're just going to drop a bomb directly on this fucking, uh, well, actually, this sub-fortress here. Well, the submarine pen. Right, that's what it's called. But you see that? Oh, hey, look! The B-29's actually winning! Good! Fucking swear to God, give the fighter pilots trouble. Alright, so, that gave us a bit of a distraction here, but it's not going to last for very long! So, what we need to do is to open the fucking bomb bay, and actually get fucking ready to drop these goddamn bombs and get the fuck out of here. Being a ground, pi ground attack pilot's a very frantic fucking job. You gotta be adjusted here. Okay? Bomb out. Roll out. Don't get hit by flag. Don't get hit by flag. That should probably take out literally everything on top of that base. And then now, bomb. Okay, it needed two. All right, that's good. I've still got another bomb back there. Oh boy. They also adjust the hit points of the bases very regularly in uh, updates, so honestly, I don't know what the fuck's going on half the time. Every time I step, step in to play this fucking game, it's an experiment. In, uh, what the Gaijin Balance Department is doing now. Okay, that might be a little bit off target, but it's still gonna hit the base. And... Good! Well, that's basically us for today. It looks like, actually, well, hmm, actually, we might be, be able to get some more sortie time in here, but I don't uh, know how well, how, you know, how cooperative the flak is going to be as we strafe back in here. This is already breaking a fighter pilot rule here. You don't strafe the same LZ over and over again. It's a bad idea, but, well, we've got 50 cals, and they still got ground targets. See, look at that fucking convergence. I really need to set that higher. Oh, boy. Well, yep. Hello, Kriegsmarine. Boy, you got your fuses all fucked up today, aren't you? Okay, good. It looks like we might have an easy time today. But... Ah, good. The B-29s are actually fucking kicking ass up there. Very, very good. We lost one of them. But one of the the other one's got two kills. Good. He's responsible for half the kills on our fucking team. Ain't he a standout? But all right. So since they've got all the fighters over there, we might as well blow all of our 50 cal ammunition on all these fuckers. Being a ground attack pilot is kind of like a bonus round. You never really know when the game's gonna say stop. So most of the time, 
you just keep fighting until something bad happens. But, well, it looks like we didn't get that one. See, ground attack pilot trick. If you have a plane with rear mounted guns, remember, the rear mounted guns don't run out of ammo. So, little trick. That's how I managed to get 30 ground targets in a TU-2, the premium one with only one bomb. Little things we pick up when we start to actually abuse the game. Engines are overheating because, well, fucking reasons. I'm going too fast. I'm too cyberpunk for this world. However, that's very bad, even though I haven't taken any fucking damage at all. It looks like we're just gonna have to back off a bit, get off the throttle. Just let everything cool down. It looks like, yeah, we basically got this. Okay, good, the fighter, our fighter pilots managed to actually do something. So, well, now, now just clean up. Ow! Uh-oh. See, uh-oh. Uh, now the, now the flak's got my fucking number. Ah, this fucking convergence. Yuck. 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 Okay, up, over. Rat tat 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 tat. Rat tat 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 tat. Come on, you motherfucker, get over that. Eh. Ah. Alright, fine, whatever. I'll come around for another fucking pass. Also, one of the things about flak. Really? It's it's harmless until it actually hits you. And you never really know when it's gonna actually hit you. So, meh. Also, my oil can Looks like my oil can's got a leak here. That's gotta be a little bit bad, but fuck it, we've got radial engines, we can survive. Those inline fuckers, those piston planes, uh, those other piston planes, the water-cooled ones. Yeah, those guys are fucked if you poke a hole in their engines. Well, well, now we're out of 50 cal ammo. You see, most of that ammo gets got pissed away because the convergence is their shit. I need to fix that. However, like I said, rare guns do not run out of ammunition. So, if the flak is cooperative, I could sit here. Uh oh, that's a plane. Motherfucker. Turn, 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 turn. I just noticed him on my fucking radar, so if I skirt out of here, I'll be lucky. What the fuck is it? Oh, it's a fucking Dora, of course. Looks like we got a Spitfire with us as well. Where the fuck did he come from? Okay, so now we're gonna try and avoid the Dora by turning in a circle repeatedly. And hopefully he doesn't get us. I hear his guns firing. That's his guns. Whoa! He's gonna come right underneath my wing. Yes, right, good. D9. Uh-oh. -uh. All right, Dora. All right, well, there you go. Thank you, Spitfire. Is that the last guy? That was the last guy. All right. Got a little bit touchy back there, but all right, fine. I need to pay attention to my radar a little bit more. I gotta keep my eyes on the swivel. I thought the, uh, what you, I thought they had them all covered there, but you know, there's always that one hassle that sneaks through. But, well, we didn't do too bad here. We didn't get any kills, but we destroyed a base and picked up 21 ground targets. Not a bad day for a ground attack pilot. But, well, not a bad first game. Mm-hmm. Thunderer. Yep. When I do a job, I try to do it well. Okay, and as you see, top on the fucking scoreboard, because, well, honestly, you play a ground attack pilot, you're gonna ground- you're, you're, you're gonna top the fucking scoreboard. It's gonna happen, because you just do so much more than shooting down planes. However, shooting down shitloads of planes will pretty much re reward you with uh, shooting down lots of planes will reward you with, uh, if I remember correctly, more RP. However, because I'm smart and I observe this, if you get ground targets and kills, then you get the most RP. You see what I'm, see what I'm doing here? This is what I, I made a living doing this. This is why I'm fucking rank 100. I survived doing this shit. Back when people said, oh, bombers are unprofitable and they're, you know, flying coffins. They're right about the flying coffin things. But if you know what you're doing, you're making money. The invader itself, well, you know, this isn't technically a premium aircraft, even though it says basically everything about it premium. It's basically just a tree aircraft with a little bit of bonuses. 
But as you can see, we're not wanting for fucking money as I have 18 million silver lions. Thank you, the days of autism, where uh, the only thing I did was play the TU2 to watch the numbers go up. So, honestly, at this point, I have reached in this game uh, basically, uh, basically the pinnacle of the game. Right now, I'm just collecting planes because I want them. Yes, I know, because it's a premium aircraft. But, as you can see... Yeah, all I need is the XP to unlock. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, there's no plane that I have research that I haven't bought yet. But I've already shown you all of this, so let's stop spurging about my fucking stats. Alright, so, next game around, let's try something a bit different here. Now, you see, I like the Sky Raider. I like it in premise because it's a big fucking dump truck that, you know, carries lots of ordnance. However, the Sky Raider isn't exactly the best air. isn't really the best ground attack plane in the game, even though it carries a hilarious amount of ordnance. I mean, you got 12 RRs right out of the box. I don't have it fully upgraded because, well, it's kind of, it was really disappointing. And, uh, well, American 20s are not amazing for ground attack, but they may have changed that. So this is why I want to check. So we're going to take the Sky Raider into combat and see what we can manage. If all else failed, we've got 12 rockets to mash R on a base. But I have a feeling that they may have also changed 20 millimeters, or at least the American 20s, to actually be somewhat effective at taking out light pillboxes. That's where you make your money. But it's fucking Norway again! Oh my fucking god. Oh, sweet Jesus. You see, this is what they do to me. But then again, it's a mixed battle since there's not nobody knows what the fuck is going on. Okay, gun targeting distance. We're gonna change that to 400 at least, and we're gonna try and you know dial that in. But uh, we can't get rid of the Havars no matter what the fuck we do. So we're just gonna we're, we're gonna roll in like this, folks. All right. So what are we dealing with here? Oh. There's a privateer on our team. How about that? And a twin stang. <laughs> That's a comedy plane. Why don't I have that in my my lineup? That is an interesting plane. However, it is, in fact, the, it's a death trap, really. But I believe that they changed it around so it's not as terrible. But it is one of those hilarious planes that is actually a very good ground attack plane if you manage to actually survive. Maybe. But, okay, so, like I was saying, Sky Raider. Very nice aircraft. Hilarious amounts of engine power. But, um, it's not exactly the most effective ground attack plane, like I said. The most effective ground attack airplanes, I think, are honestly really the German ones with the Mark 103s. Those things are absolutely hellish. If they get into any area, they will basically wipe the floor with anything that isn't a base. They are able to clean up so efficiently that if you leave them alone, I've won games in the duck by ground by ground victory single-handedly while everybody else was dicking around up in the air trying to, you know, play aerial grab ass. They left me alone and all of a sudden, oh hey look, 30 ground targets are dead and the game's over. I wonder how that happened. Quack quack. But I can't play the duck right now because they haven't really put in anything for the German tree that I actually want. But you know what the fuck is going to happen once they do, right? Maybe we can have that amazing, awesome, totally awesome tactical reverse swept wing Arado. I forget what that's called, but you know what I'm talking about, right? That thing might as well be, uh, well, it'll, it might as well be another trophy. What do you think I'm going for? The bases, because I'm a ground attack pilot. You could probably wing it with a Sky Raider in terms of fighters, but you know what? Let's not. And also, unfortunately, one of the other major problems with the Sky Raider being a ground attack aircraft is it has basically no form of defense to cover itself. Other planes that are more suited towards this are either hella fast, or, well, they are covered in machine guns, like I said. The Sky Raider is none of these. The Sky Raider has a lot of fucking torque, so it can carry out, well, a, a hilarious amount of ordnance. The only problem is getting the ordnance to that point and then getting the fuck out. You know what I'd like? I'd like a Mauler. They can, well, they can carry slightly more audience, slightly more or ordnance than a, uh, than a Sky Raider. But, uh, they're kind of a bitch to fly historically, apparently. But I'd like to see one. 
I'd put, I'd, I'd put in for that for a premium aircraft, but oh well. One day I will have all of the flying dump trucks that I want. But you see, now, the weather is slightly different, but we're basically doing the same fucking thing. Because there's nothing you can fucking do in Norway! All the ground attire and all the ground targets outside of the other you know parts of the map, what are they? Ships. Do you know how hard it is to approach a fucking ship? Ships are fucking are absolutely just murderous. And also, they're actually a bitch to take out and they require specialized ordnance, aka torpedoes, which unfortunately the Sky Raider has, but I don't have actually researched. So we can't go after that. And honestly, they're not really worth it in terms of being able to knock them out with torpedoes. You're gonna get one in there and you may, like, okay, you're gonna maybe make, like, 400 research and maybe, like, 1,800 Silver Lions or 2,000 Silver Lions or something like that. But that's one target. Light pillboxes get you that, but you can pick up, like, 8 to 10 light pillboxes if you're really fucking good. And, you know, being really good is flying a specialized plane for the fucking job and also having cannons. Or shit tons of 50 cals. You see, that's the thing. 20 uh, actual cannons are kind of inconsistent at uh, ground attack unless it's the Mark 103. 50 cals, however, for a long time were the undisputed kings of ground attack because they could basically liquefy light pillboxes and they're so ammunition efficient that you could go for basically days. Reloading. Hmm. Oh, look! Attacking. We've been fed directly into the German fighters. What a fucking surprise! It's almost as if, it's almost as if the map design forces this to happen. Golly gee, Batman. See, this is what I hate about Gaijin's gameplay design department. They're fucking retarded, and they're also shit at their jobs. Really, one of the major problems with War Thunder is, hands down, the actual gameplay. The... 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 The optimization for the game is absolutely fantastic. The controls are absolutely fantastic. But what you're actually doing in the game, usually, most of the time, causes you to run aground into situations that are absolutely hopeless, and really brain-dead stupid, like the bombers being fed into the fighters over and over again. But you know what? We're gonna be kind of careful here, since we don't want, really want to attract the attention of that fucker wolf way to fuck up here. So we're gonna be... Very, very selective about how we reveal ourselves as we swing in here really low. And we're just gonna get right up in here. And then we're gonna pull up a little bit. And then we're gonna douse this base with rockets. Avidasen! But unfortunately, I don't have Tiny Tim's equipped, so it wasn't enough to actually kill the base. So now, now what are we gonna do? We're in a Sky Raider, we have no way to actually damage the rest of the bases, and there are German fighters afoot. Now we're gonna fucking run! Why? Because there's nothing else that we can fucking do. And if we get caught down here, we're fucking dead. Come on, American 20s. They're really good for killing aircraft, however, uh, they're kind of atrocious at ground attack. Honestly, I take M2 Brownings over these things any day of the week. Uh-oh. Dorner 3 five. What the fuck? Arrow, what the hell are you doing down here? Now I might actually have a chance, because that's even more com comedic than me. He also doesn't know how to fucking shoot. He has a lot of fucking airspeed, and he also has two engines. So this is gonna be a little odd. About the only thing that's good about the Sky Raider is that it's a fucking kite. It can turn really well, and it also has a lot of torque, so I can fucking... Helicopter! And then not actually get that, because center-mounted gun. Oh well. We were basically done anyway. I was gonna spend the next 20 minutes running away. This is kind of the... The negative side of being a ground attack pilot, unfortunately. You do die, and you do die a lot. And there's a lot of... There really isn't a lot of things that you can do about it most of the time. So do... So what do you do? You move the fuck on. Like this. The fighters can all play grab ass. That's not the game we're playing. So... Whatever. We didn't really do much, we weren't able to do much, because it's fucking Norway, and Norway is shit for ground attack. But, let's move on. Let's see, what can we fly next? Let's try the Tiger Cat.